That's it. Okay, here we go. I'm starting with um, my Father's Day preparations for my husband. Our kids are going to come over here and we're going to, you know, we get together and eat and that's usually what we do. So, first things first. That's what I have. Ina Garten's recipe for Bloody Mary. So, three large stalks of celery from the heart, including leaves plus extra for serving, 36 ounce tomato juice, two teaspoons prepared horseradish. Okay, right away. So what I did, rather than getting out my big clunky blender, I got out my little tiny um, food processor thingy. Let's see now. Uh, two teaspoons of prepared horseradish. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with one because the person that prepared this horseradish was me and it's from Fresh. So I'm going to go with one and then I'll maybe, should I do another half? What do you think, honey? Okay. Because if it gets too hot, then I won't be able to have any of this. I'll do a little bit. All right, what do we got next here? Okay, one teaspoon of grated yellow onion and one lemon juice, one lemon juiced, and I don't have that. So I'm just gonna go with, I think I'm gonna go with this lemon that I have in my hand here, and I'm going to, nope, that's okay, thank you, dear. I'm just gonna pretend I squeezed a lemon and I'll put in one tablespoon to the, into my fancy carafe there also known as a canning jar. It's, uh, what is that, two liters? Something like that. Yeah. Exactly. We're in Canada, so probably. Half a gallon. Okay. Half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. What did it say, half a teaspoon? Yeah. That seems kind of light, doesn't it? It really does. Let's go with a teaspoon. Maybe two teaspoons. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't think I'm even showing me putting the things in the jar, am I? Let's do this. There, now you are. There we go. One. Go with two teaspoons. Yeah, just like with any other recipe, you know, you don't have to stick totally to it. You can sandra it. You can sandra it. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of celery salt. Again, I make my own celery salt. So a half a teaspoon, hmm, I'm gonna go with a spoon, teaspoon. Let's see if I can do that, without jiggling the camera too darn much. Okay, got my celery salt. Um, she calls for kosher salt, but I'm not putting any of that in there. 12 dashes of hot sauce is recommended Tabasco. Well, I don't have any Tabasco, so I'm going to go with, ta-da. Franks Red Hot. <laughs> and 12 dashes. Mm, what do you think, babe? I'll just put a bunch in, see how you feel about it. Yeah. I think I'm going to, yeah, I'll just shake in. Can you do that? Yep. It's rattling the. That has a stabilization, so it shouldn't be too bad either okay. way. Uh, tell me when. Good, good, good. That's good. And I'm going to go ahead and put in the ground. She called for three stalks of celery and a uh, teaspoon of um, fresh onion paste. So I'm gonna hopefully get that in there without making too much of a mess. And the onion's grated right into the celery. Yes. Okay. Gonna be more like a gazpacho. With booze. With booze in it. <laughs> okay, here we are now. What I need is my... Hang on a sec. Your... Okay. Okay, here you go. Cute. Got the tomato juice. That's one. We need another one. Yes, yeah, we need four cups. So here. Get this yep. Lynn was kindly rinsed that out for me so we can get all of the. So we can be healthy. Get to the last block. That's right. We can be healthy with our, um, with our, uh, our drink. Okay. Um, here we go. And I need one and a half cup of vodka, please. I'll measure that for you. Thank you. 
Um, let's use this instead of doing that. Yeah, I think that's a great too, idea. Right? Yep. No, I'm not sponsored by Smirnoff, but um, if they would like to give me a sponsorship, I would be willing to go along with that. Vodka. That's right. Okay. There we go. Oh, perfect jar for it. Yeah, it, it really was. It made almost a full jar. Okay. And if you would do the honors, Dad. Not my dad, but... <laughs> it's his special day. Did you want to get us some ice and we'll we'll get this uh, day going. What do you think? think that's good? I think it's good. Yeah. So let's grab some ice in our cups that I put right there. And we will um, do a taste test for you. Uh, did you put olive juice in there? I did not. Because this is Ina Garten's, um, oh. yeah. This is not the Sandra recipe. My sister Pam always puts... Um, olive juice in there and pickle juice and she makes the best what we call in Canada Caesars that's right most well yeah Pam actually I think she uses clam auto doesn't she I think so yeah you want me to pour it while you uh, record yes, that? Yes, please. I think it's recording. The screen's black. So. Yeah, just give it a quick tap. Oh, my God. And it comes back out, sweetie. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. It does that to save the battery. There we go. What do you think? Yep. It's good. I don't think anybody else is going to drink this stuff, so we'll... Let's give it a taste test, shall we? Here we go. Um... Maybe we should have put that in the blender. <laughs> it's kind That's of crunchy. <laughs> I like that. It's like a vodka salad. That's right. Okay, and I'm going to turn this off now. One tap and we'll shut it off. Okay. Okay, first thing that I'm going to do for my husband's requested uh, Father's Day lunch is I'm making some potatoes, baked potatoes. I'm going to have a baked potato bar and a... Hot dog bar thingy. <laughs> okay. Here's what I found. Okay, just a second here. My phone is talking at me, trying to tell me how to cook a hot dog bar. Uh, let's see. First of all, let me drink at the ready there. Just I'm going to drizzle. So I got these ready last night, these potatoes. I scrubbed them and washed them thoroughly and cut off any icky parts. Now I'm just going to use my impeccably clean hands. I wouldn't put that on yet. I don't know. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I've got plenty. I can take it off. If you need. Yep, plenty. All right. So I'm just going to use my left hand for this. So I can then. So this is just ground kosher salt here. Can you take that off for me, sweetie? Yes, please. And this is pepper. And that ground kosher salt doesn't want to come out very good, so I'm going to have to do it this way. Oh, salt. Is that too much? Yeah. Well, it's the skin anyway, right? Yeah, the best part. And just get it. Off that too? Nope, I don't think so. Okay. Thank you. Though. Oh, man, that fresh ground pepper smells so yummy. Okay, and then I'm just going to get that all coated. Okay, like this. Okay, and then I will put it onto this parchment lined. Should I put them right on top there, you think? Oh, yeah. Just like that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want me to turn it over? Or? Um, do you want to? Yeah. They're not going to run out anyway. No yeah. way. <clears throat> the edges okay. of the parchment won't burn that way. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna hold you down there. Yeah. Right. And dump them all on here. And this is gave myself about an hour and a half head start here. Um, originally, I planned on um, maybe steaming these and then having them cold. We could heat it up on the grill, but we decided not to do that. Okay. All right. 
I'm gonna fire them in the oven. Oh, wait a second, that's not very oily. Cut part there. Did I miss any? Nope. Looks good. All right, these are gonna be heavenly. Do to, uh, turn, do you wanna do it with your oven? Could, oh, no, you can't. Could you um, turn this off? Oh, you don't wanna show put it in the oven? Uh, yeah, okay. I do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. And it's at 450 degrees because this oven is kind of finicky. Middle oven rack. That's right. And we're gonna leave that in for about an hour or we'll just check them and... Hour and a half, yeah. maybe. Okay, so we'll come back and show you. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. And here is my quick uh, side dish that I made to go with the meal, which is um, a hot dog bar and um, a potato, baked potato bar. So um, I cooked these last night, and all it is is just a bunch of yummy stuff like um, bacon and onion and a bunch of other stuff and a couple cans of beans, and then I just um, boiled that down. So now I'm just going to put it in my nice warming chafing dish thingy, and I'll, that will heat up in here. And then I'm going to put hot dogs in the center one, and then I'll toast the, um, the buns in the oven, and then I will uh, put the buns in there so everybody can just help themselves. All right, I'll come back and show you what it looks like afterwards. Doesn't look so we're ready for our lunch. Here's what I have on the chafing dishes. And the beans, baked beans. And hot dogs and smokies and this is toasted uh, buns ready to go warm and what do we have over here We've got cheddar cheese sour cream um, this is bacon bits that we made last night this is raw onion this is green onion regular green onion we have butter for the potatoes and sour cream for the potatoes. So. Green onions out and, of our garden. Yes, we grew that. <laughs> and then this is just um, onion jam that I make. So yummy. But you can see the butter on it. And what's that one? This is sweet jalapenos, sometimes called cowboy candy. And they're hot. Yummy. Okay. And so the next time... Oh, I forgot to mention the condiments here. Ketchup, mustard, relish, napkins, and some cutlery there. And that's it. We're ready to go. Happy Father's Day.